Stuart, a fairly momentous day in the club's long history. Yeah, I, I think uh, probably the most important decision that's ever been made for this football club. I know we've had two uh, previous successful applications, but this time round, we've got all the bits in place to enable us to deliver this time. Yeah, still big challenges to find all the money, but we've got a site that we've absolute control over, hopefully by mid-late March when we get clearance from the Scottish Government with a plan and consent. The third bit is just to find the balance of the money to deliver it. And to get to this stage, it's been the work of so many different groups that have all played their part, small or, or large, to, to get where we are today. Yeah, with, without any doubt, I, I think there's been our own internal team, there's the professional team that have worked tirelessly with us uh, through the, the, the best part of two years to get to, to this point. And, and uh, without any doubt, the Aurora campaign has been a massive success. No, uh, not only did it enable us to pull in the support from our fans, it pulled in the support from the wider community and, and also from the, the business community. And we shouldn't underestimate just how powerful that became at the end. And listen to a lot of the council members there today know this is probably one of the very few occasions that they've had to, to open all the emails, read the letters, listen to the direct approaches from the band. So it has had a, a, a massive effect here and just demonstrating how important a uh, successful Aberdeen football club is to the the whole city and region. As you say, still a bit <coughs> to go, a long way to, to go obviously, but what's the, the time scale from here? All going well, uh, we would hope to hear back from Scottish Government before the end of uh, March, hopefully it might be a, a wee bit earlier. Uh, we'll get underway now in, in, in finalising uh, everything for phase one, get in applications for building water and roads consent. And the aim is to have all of that in place so we could move on to the site hopefully before the end of June. And uh, if we can hit that time scale, uh, we can have the past phase ready for summer 19. Uh, ideally, we want to try and get ourselves into position before we, we put that first spade in the ground it, with 75-80% of the funding for phase one in place. At the moment we're sitting at around 60%, so there's a lot of work to do over the coming months to get the, the balance of that funding lined up for phase one. And it all being well, that means that the, the manager will have his training facilities that he has mentioned once or twice since he arrived here for season 19-20? Yeah, I, I think if, uh, if I'd got a tenor from Derek every time he mentioned the training facilities, then he could have probably had another player before the window closes. Well, it's a, as we said, it's a, a momentous day for the football club, a lot of work to be done, but to, to, to have got to this stage, it's, it's really brilliant for everybody concerned. Thanks very much, Stuart. Okay, thank you.